right, so we've got this 16 on center on here with a two by 10. We'll put the joist hanger on here. We've got this cross nailed between the two of them. And then we can start putting the floorboards back on here. And you can see we've got it even across there. So that way it'll line up our pieces of flooring much better. Yay. So we're gonna go ahead and see if we can put this mother humper to bed and um, get Michael, when we get down here, he's gotta put in the electrical box. We gotta fit in for our floor outlet. So isn't that nice? We actually can have power. Um, if we have a couch here, boom, put in power right here and we'll have one in the opposite corner as well. So it'll cover um, anything that we wanna do. If we need to have a phone charger or if it's one of those couches that you gotta plug in, we put the power there so we want to run one from the wall and make it a tripping hazard. Trying to think ahead on this. And I tell you, I didn't realize the how much I missed AC until I actually have AC in here because man, I go outside, it's hot, it's hot. And uh, you come back in here, it feels great. So our temperature is holding right at 70 degrees. So I love that, that's pretty good. The insulation has made all the difference in the world. Oh yeah, look at that. That's just about perfect level over there. Now what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna use molding screws and screw this down. We're gonna pre-drill the holes, and lock it in place so it's good and snug. And if we need to, um, just to try and get this as close as possible, we have some shims we can shim up underneath there, but that is gonna be solid as a rock. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna try to cut some pieces and try and get the lines closer to where they should be on the floor. So that way, um, it'll at least look like the appearance that it's the same width. At least we're, that's the, the, the thought in theory. Well, I'm gonna tell you, this is very painstaking to max these up and try to get the joints as tight as possible. Um, but I can tell you one thing, it is solid as a rock. Now, now I, I think this is kind of neat, okay? And, um, we are, these pieces are actually the closet. And you can see right here, this piece right here was on fire. So I think that's going to be burnt too much for it to be with that side up. You can see that this side still got a little bit of that burn in there. So we're going to use this. We're going to trim it up and keep on going with it. And I think actually it's going to be interesting when we sand it to see how it looks. Um, hmm. The thing is, this is kind of deep in here where it really wasn't finished on this side. So I really need to have this side. So I may need to cut. I'll cut from here so I get a few pieces out of it. Well, it's about 10 o'clock at night. Um, I've been working basically on the same thing all day, um, getting this level. And if you look down here, you can see I got them pretty straight. Now, this is one of the pieces of wood from the closet. You can see it's burnt. But once we sand this, it'll end up blending in. What I did was I tried to match up width-wise the boards as much as possible in here. When I got down here, the two sides weren't anywhere close to being the same. So um, that, and I started running short on the longer pieces to do that. And of course, I ended up, when I pulled off the baseboard, messed that up. That's okay, we'll plaster that over. But now that we've gotten all of the wood up out of here, you're starting to feel how much space is in here. Now, of course, this is blocking us because we've got the uh, workbench and stuff on there. But this is really a great space this is uh 29 feet from one side to the other and it's 18 foot this way now of course you do have the area way in here that does take away from it but you know you put a big flat screen tv up there um you could be chilling right here and enjoying this would be a great place to just kind of entertain and have um you know plenty of people just kind of here chilling um and being able to socialize now we have at my in-laws house an old ice um, box. So we're thinking that maybe that ice box goes right there. And I may try and retrofit it so it actually has a uh, cooling system so that way we can plug it in and it'll be actually like a working refrigerator. So some of the thoughts that we have um, right now in the house, it's 
it's getting there. Um, I, like I said, I don't feel like I got a lot accomplished today, but that floor is major, and um, now the workings of getting the railings together um, does change the scope of this quite a bit. Mike's been going through, and he's uh, buttoning up all the electrical and getting the um, plates and stuff on the finished areas. We did find uh, oh, excuse me, a couple of places where when they did the drywall, they covered over the outlet. So we're having to cut open the drywall in a few places, but no big deal. We'll get those cut open, find them, and um, put it back together, you know, and mud and tape it up. Uh, at this point, it's not the end of the world at all. Wow. It's really beginning to come together. Um, my wife has been working um, downstairs on, let me show you guys, and I'm going to carry some stuff while I'm going down. This is actually nice having these um, because by the end of the day, I've been leaning rather hard on them. Um, with the plaster we did yesterday, it actually looks pretty good. It's amazing because there used to be, you guys may not have noticed it, but it used to be um, two wires that came out here in like a box that was on the wall and the wires went through. Just taking that out has made a heck of a difference. You can see where it's still a little bit, still drying. Um, but evening this out, getting rid of the brick opening there, getting rid of the brick op up on there that we can start the process of really getting this stuff finished. Um, and once we start getting the finished plaster on here, it's gonna really look a lot different. My wife repainted this and she's like, look, you gotta take that stuff off before you plaster. She's gone through and she's been getting this stuff, you know, prepped up to get ready to be painted. And um, she painted this window over here. Oh, she's painted the closet door. Oh my goodness. Now this is going to be nice too. This is actually a wood slat wall. <laughs> that wall right there is is like gold because that's all antique hard pine. But we'll pull the nails off of it and um, we'll paint that. We don't know what color we're going to paint it, but it'll be a nice accent color. So that will be great in there. Um, tomorrow I'm going to try and get all of the trim done on the other two door other three doors over there that'll be a fan um i'm not sure she wants to put that one up just yet or not no. she may want to wait we did get a ceiling fan uh, we may do the, all three of them in the same room it's got like a cage up underneath like a, a metal cage but, yeah before tuesday yeah put them up before i go back well she's sanded in here so the worst yeah, of the mess is, up, is done so that's why i didn't do nothing in the room so that's what we've gotten accomplished thus far here today. <clears throat> Mike's been working on all the electrical stuff and he's been hammering it out. Um, we had to make, we had to make a couple of changes. Um, and this is, it's my, my mistake. When I saw the stove and I love the stove, even though I haven't used it yet. I thought that this was actually a downdraft, but that's actually exhaust for the, um, uh, yeah, what you call it? The, the fan that blows in there. Oh, for the for the stove. Yeah. Portion of it. Yeah, like. A, so, what we're gonna end up doing? We originally were gonna have a light fixture up here, but what we're gonna do is, it'll be a light fixture hood fan, exhaust fan, and I think Tracy's found one that's black, that'll vent through the roof. So that's, that'll that's be on sale. It's on sale. It's yeah, one hundred fifty dollars off. Until so that'll month. hang down here and give us the light in the middle. So he had to change the light switching in here. I have to change. You just have to get the switches. Okay. So and that that way, that's, that's our power for the system. Hopefully, hey, it's a one ten. The other thing too is mm -hmm. always check on Amazon because usually the the same stuff you get at the store is cheaper. Right. Especially when it comes to electrical, and most most time you get it next day. There you go. So, like, so or that's, overnight, or that's overnight. where where we are <laughs> today. Um, you know, it was a good day. Um, got quite a bit accomplished and I'm tired. You tired? Okay. All right. Miles, let's let's, let's miles, get these miles. tools put away and then, uh, yeah. whew, we going to get out of here. Appreciate y'all.